Hey, and this is Lilia with the Help Yourself podcast. And today I have with me Gary and Diane from Indigo Blue Star. Thank you so much, guys, for, com for coming on the podcast. Lovely to meet you and welcome to the Heal Scotland membership. How are you? Fine, thank you. We're great. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks for having us. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> Brilliant. So you guys have... Oh, like two sides to your business. So you've got Indigo Blue Star and you have the Wolf Non-Surgical. Mm -hmm. Now, I was had no idea what that was. Actually, when I looked and researched, I did I realised who the guy was. But just for the listeners and the viewers, can you explain the difference between the two sides to your offerings? Yeah, so Indigo Blue Star is, um, we're both um, channels, we're quantum energy healers, we speak light language, um, we do a lot of spiritual work, um, so Indigo Blue Star is where we offer most of that work, uh, it's more of our spiritual offerings for the collective, um, and our sessions, our one-to-one -one sessions, we do mentorship and things like that with people on the spiritual awakening journey, um, who are awakening and activating. So that's that's more um the spiritual side of things. Um Wolf non surgical. Wolf non surgical is more of the physical in person. That's basically gets it's an elbow technique. We use an elbow technique which basically goes in to the core of the people's pain and problems. So if people have got like sciatica, arthritis, or any pain in any part of the body. I basically go in and I break down all the crystallisation, calcification, scar tissue, inflammation, even arthritis, anything. And it could be head to toe. Doesn't matter what part of the body it is. I can go in and work on it and basically rejuvenate the the blood and get the blood flow back into these into the cells and rejuvenate the cells and totally take the pain away. And um, people people like everybody that I've done has basically noticed the difference. You, you'll see the difference with one treatment. And it's not like a long-term treatment. It's not like basically you come back and come back and come back forever and ever and ever. It's basically, this is like the treatment that's, that's going to help you out of this uh, your pain. It's not, uh, and it's not like for me, it's no, it's more mission-based because I went through so many illnesses and ailments to get to the stage of starting the Wolf Non-Surgical and doing, I was guided to the course. I wasn't just, it's not just that I seen a business opportunity and I went, I'm going to do that. I was guided through my spiritual awakening, through my illnesses and my ailments. And basically that's why I've done it. Amazing. And don't you think though in our culture, we, we don't understand that body treatments are so important to help the body, mm -hmm. you know, help the energy in the body to flow and to um, help the body to heal. We're, we we see it as a bit of a spa thing, you know, you have yeah. a nice wee treat rather than an actual really integral part of a of maintain, maintaining a healthy, vital body. Yeah. So fantastic, I'm very intrigued. Um, but I'm also, can you talk about what health issues that you've come come through? Oh yeah, I'm, I came through quite a lot, to be honest. Um, well, we both, uh, both of our awakenings were actually triggered by ill health. Ill health and... um, myself, mine was in 2018 and I had a long period of um, like addiction to over-the-counter painkillers and things like that and just not looking after myself properly and it was all to try and um, deal with my empathy and my gifts and my sensitivities. Um, so I ended up with a lot of gut issues and um, get diagnosed with high as hernia and different things, helicobacter, all these things, and the, the medical system, it, it just wasn't really helping. Um, and that was when I awakened to, like, natural ways to kind of heal the gut. So that was where my journey began, and yours was quite similar. I mean, and the thing was, Diane was a nurse for 20 years. Mm. So, <laughs> so coming from that background in the medical system was failing her as well. So my story's similar as well. It was all, all started with like, a high as hernia, or acid reflux, and I'd also I've been going through a lot of years of uh, kind of depression and mental health and things like that, and I was up and I was down, and a lot of people would have said I was bipolar and all these kind of things at the time, but obviously I, um, once I started doing my own natural healing and my own looking after myself correctly, um, I just changed my diet and things like that, but my but it started with I was I probably wasn't eating right and I wasn't drinking enough water and things like that and I was I was not a I didn't like I wasn't an alcoholic drinker I didn't drink or smoke or anything I was always quite fit apart from that 
But unbeknown to me, uh, it was gut problems and it came from uh, acid reflux. And then it was like, went to the doctors, they gave me omeprazole tablets and I was on them for about a year, but they weren't, weren't working. But as, as I was on them, other things were starting to happen to me. Like um, it was like high hiatus hernia, uh, fungal infections in my stomach, um, urine infections. So this was all snowballing. Swine fluid. Swine fluid. I had, you, you name it, I was catching it. I was I, Anything that was going about, I was getting it, which... And then I was getting urinary infections. I'd been going for cystoscopies, endoscopies for about a year and a half. And they were just telling me to double the dose. And they, they, they didn't have a clue what it was. What where They were just saying, like, no, it's still there. Just double the dose and then we're resolved. So I doubled the dose. <clears throat> and that wasn't working. And then months went by and it was a double the dose again. So I was taking four a day at this point. And then... It was just it was a, a bad reaction to the, the tablets and my skin started peeling off my whole body for like months. I mean, like I've got pictures and videos of it at the time for months and I've been going to the doctors and they were saying like, oh, take, take this cream, take that cream, take this cream. And nothing was working. I was at my wit's end. I was like, my so my whole immune system was just diving. I was just like basically dying. So I was, um, and it went on for months. And it was just by chance that I went to meet a lady. I went to buy something off a lady on Facebook in Stirling and she said, what's up with your face and things? And I was like, I was telling her, I've had this for months. And she went, are you on a Meprazol? And I went, and she went, stop them. My husband did the exact same reaction to them. And she gave me colloidal silver and she sprayed it in my face and she gave me colloidal silver, um, apple cider vinegar and fulvic acid. And for that day, I was just like, boom. Wow, I just chucked it and within a week the, the skin started healing up. I went back to the doctors and I told them and he was like, oh, well, sometimes that happens. And I was like, wow. And then when I read, the, I read the, the side effects of these things and all the side effects that I read were the things that I was actually having during my whole time. But then I was still in, in a pretty bad way, so I was still trying to build my immune system up and I contracted sepsis. Through this, through a urine infection, because because my my gut had been damaged that much by the tablets and things like that with the medication, and I, I got sepsis, ended up in hospital, and then that's and then COVID hit, and I was like, so I was I was going through like my sepsis, like so I came through it obviously, and I was starting to heal myself, and and then the doctor detox came up on my Facebook, and I, I went up, and during the pandemic. And I was like, wow, this guy's talking to the gut. And I just realised that this is where all my problems are coming from, the gut. And I just started to heal my gut, drinking more water, drinking three litres of water a day, drinking, eating, taking the Celtic salt, taking high, the yeah, Himal the nutraceuticals, Himalayan salt, taking nutraceuticals. I even bought a clapper to clap my <laughs> limb on these things. Yeah. A, a belly but uh, that's a belly button tool, a belly button therapy tool which puts dopamine, serotonin, oxygen. It's like all these wee things. Uh, I bought the yeah, black gold. This was all just to cleanse out the free radicals in my body and just a total detox. Just detox myself and started eating plant based food and just totally transformed my life. And then I was about a, about a year later, I got esophagus same problems. This was still, this was ongoing from the, the problems. This was like the last thing. So everything I was eating was sticking here. And then um, I ended up back in hospital again. When, when, with this, it was such pain. I thought I was taking a heart attack. It was that much pain. Um, and while I was in hospital, I had been posting. They gave me morphine and I was posting <laughs> things on my, my yep. Facebook page. And that's when Diane noticed me and she sent me a book and I read it. And then that was how we met. So it was that. Oh, wow. it's real. Like that's this is how we met. She sent me a book called The Awakened Empath, and I read it, and it just explained my whole life. And then that was my spiritual awakening starting as well. So it was so tied in. And then I, I said at the time I was like, I'm I'm going to go and do the course with mm -hmm. Doggy Detox, but obviously the pandemic they couldn't go to go to do it. And then as soon as we got the chance, we went to Mexico last year and done it. So it was like all mud. Well, well done you, that's a uh, fantastic story. I love these stories, obviously, because I'm a nutritionist, uh, etc. Always banging on about the gut because, you know, there's, uh, there's practically anybody alive on this planet right now that's certainly in a Western diet that doesn't have gut issues. Definitely. Yeah, the simplicity a lot of the time with the parasites, the worms, the heavy metals, etc. And people do not know that's what's causing all of their symptoms yeah. as taking the drugs, trusting 
not looking at them, not reading the side effects, uh, and, and thinking they're going to get better with 30 pills a day. It's madness. Madness, that's the thing. It's like, um, I, 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 it's, it's like they give you one pill, and then basically if that's not working, they'll say there's another one, or there's another one because you're getting side effects off of that one, so that's to, to combat the side effects. And basically, when at the time as well, I never mentioned that that the one of the last things they gave me was cream for my face, and it was like I was just in trials this cream, so mm-hmm. they were like, "Here, take this cream." And I was like, I was at my wit's end, so I would have tried anything at this point because my skin it was like, but it looked, I looked like a burn victim, mm-hmm. so it did my whole face and every part of my body was just like raw, and it was seeping, <clears throat> and then and then it made six of my teeth crumble. So the, the the cream actually ruined my teeth. That was oh actually God. so. Uh, it was mad. But I think you know we, we need to. Well, part of the Heal Scotland movement is to educate, inspire, support. Is that you know <clears throat> we need to be a lot more uh, educated and you know mindful of what we're taking, and because oh, yeah. we can't keep blaming people for it. We need to educate ourselves yeah. and understand that there's a you know the the gut is really the kind of center um of your health and it's not something you just fix in a day or a week it's something we have to tend like a garden Aye. our whole lives if we want to stay with some level of vitality and health so fantastic let's move on because there's so many things i want to talk to you about <laughs> so the so the indigo blue star as you said is your more spiritual side now there will be people i'm sure that are listening that maybe don't understand channeling light languages etc but it, I think it's obvious to a lot of us, you know, when the as the frequencies change, we we tune into different streams of information, different streams of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. and now it's, so you guys haven't been together that long. No. We've been married in um, June. Uh, sorry, no, October it's, it's, last year. We met in June. Actually met in June 2021. 2021. In the physical. Um, but we actually met in the 90s. But, so we used to go to the Hassey Ender together. I don't know if you remember Hassey. Yes, I do. I was talking about the sub club. So we we used to be at the Hassey Ender, but Gary was a couple of years older than me, so um, and he was in a relationship at that time. But we, that was when we first met, so I knew who he was and uh-huh. I knew of the family, um, and that was how I ended up adding him on Facebook, like in twenty twelve, because uh, he popped up and I was like, oh, that's Gary Lang from the Hassey Ender, so I added him. And then as he was sharing his story on Facebook, you know, with his pictures and everything that was happening, that was obviously activating and awakening me. And then eventually I reached out because I was obviously, my heart was opening and, and things. So it's, it's a mad story. It's, it's, um, it's but a yeah, fascinating story. We spoke for 10 months as well um, on Messenger. We just spoke completely on Messenger, just supporting each other through the pandemic, through the spiritual journey um, for 10 months solid without even like speaking on the phone or anything it was just messages messages. (laughs) and then we met without even speaking to each other so we and as soon as we met we knew we knew right away like this is this is something really special here so it was like the other other half of me was just walking into the room that's what it was it was just amazing i love these stories (laughs) we all love love um so fantastic so that and then that's where Indigo Blue Star was born, is that right? No, so I had awakened in 2012 with, with my health problems and, and different things. And we've both had really challenging paths. So we've had to overcome a lot, which is common on the twin flame journey, things like addiction, bereavement, trauma, sexual trauma, um, you know, narcissistic <laughs> abuse, things like that. So all things that we've had to overcome. So when I awakened, it was kind of awakening to my true self, I suppose, and realising, you know, that I, I'm here for a purpose and I have these sensitivities for a reason and I, it's not about numbing them, it's about learning how to control them. So my path began then and um, I went to a spiritualist church. I was just drawn to go there um, and I was told there, you, you can be a, you're, you're a trans medium. That was how she put it to me. And I'm like, oh, what's one of them? Didn't have a clue. Um, and she said, you know, where they come in your body and they work through you. And I was like, all right, okay. But it quickly became clear that wasn't really the right environment for me. So um, I got a mentor. I started working with a mentor. I did a psychic development course, a mediumship course. Um, and I also started following another medium online. Um, who was doing meditations during lockdown. 
So I did her meditations three times a week. She spoke light language. I'd never heard of it before. She just started doing it through one of the meditations and I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. Um, But I liked it. (laughs) And that activated my light language from doing those meditations. So that was when I realised I'm not here to be a traditional psychic medium. Um, I felt that I was here to be a healer and I knew that that's why my light language had activated. I knew that that's what it was for. And that's when I started kind of tapping into galactic energies rather than spirit, if you like, like past loved ones and things like that. So that's where my path really changed. And um, I started thinking about leaving the NHS to pursue a spiritual career. Um, That's where it all came from. Um, So it was all in progress. And then when we met... Um, we realised we're meant to actually work together. So I activated Gary's light language. Um, and we, we started doing a lot of spiritual work together yeah. as twins, you know, to activate each other. So that was when we realised this is our mission, this is our purpose, that we're supposed to do this together. So mm-hmm. it was born... Mm-hmm. When did we start, Indigo Blue? Start about 18 months ago uh, now. Fe- February, wasn't it? 20, yeah. 22, I think it was on. 2222. It was around mm-hmm. then. Just before that, I think so. That was when we we set up, and I left the NHS after twenty years to kind of put our life and soul into that. <laughs> so, how does that work then? Two things. First of all, if I came to you, for example, what how would how would a session look? What what would be? How would it work? But they're very. Our sessions are channeled, so they're individualized to the person. So. The kind of people that we usually work with that come to us are people who are gifted, who've got a, a mission, who who a lot of twins as well, a lot of twin flames, but people who've got gifts and they want advice on how to use them and they want activation. So part of our role is to activate soul remembrances and gifts and abilities in others. And we do that through a light language and we do it through the codes that we carry. Um, um, also do a cash records and the end. Collapsing timelines and past life regressions, all these kind of things as well. So, they do a lot of work in the Akashic field. Um, uh-huh. Can you give mm-hmm. us a wee um, idea of what a light language is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so light language is, is basically a, it's the language of your soul. So mm-hmm. we've all spoken light language at some point in our soul's evolution. We're, we're having all these different timelines that are running parallel, which is called past lives, future lives, but they're all running simultaneously and in these lifetimes you will be speaking light language and certain ones of these timelines and it's it's a remembrance so you basically remember that you have this ability and um, you can be activated with your light language by hearing other people speaking it by going to somebody to get activated we do activation sessions or by listening to it on youtube listening to meditations different things but um it's basically a channeled cosmic language. It's a frequency. Uh, so it's not understood by, directly by the mind. It's not interpretable like that, but it's uh, it's interpreted by the heart. So your heart activates and your DNA activates through the light language. So it's, um, I suppose it's like cosmic beings that you're channeling and they're bringing that galactic frequency through the light language. So it's bringing a new frequency to Earth. Um, bringing in the new earth. It's coding people as well. So when people get light language, it's actually coding them and upgrading their DNA. We, we, we actually use it for everything. We use yeah. it for doing the clearing in the house. So um, even our food, we use it on our food no, to, to like change the frequency of the food, food and the water, water and things like that. Mm-hmm. So you can change the frequency with it. Can you give us an example? What, of actually speaking, speaking it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I thought you <laughs> <laughs> so there's loads of different dialects that we channel, um, but I'll channel a bit of just Lemurian. So this is a, a kind of gentle healing, kind of loving um, vibration. So, ora na ya ta sikito no shiara, ora sekia no kubakaya, kara na ta sekio toro sukuto shana tara sekia tora kia sa kara na ya kushunurokoa. Kora sakia nata sikia toro sukutuna shikia toro sukua. So she's kind of saying, um, open your heart, open your heart to love, remember who you are. Um, so with the light language, you can get transmissions where there's a message, um, or you you can actually do activations. There's different um 
ways it comes through. So that was a transmission with a message. So Gary can do some of his, because we do different ones. Mm. And I'll do some up to him. She never took a room to go in at a kayamatin. Hamataka Kuruku to Kum in the Kakataki in the Matakuyo Kuruku to Kuyo Katakia. Kataka in the Mate Onetaka in the Mandataka Onetakayama Katakuruku to Ku in the Kataya. That's just, just the same kind of vibration, the love vibration, the love frequency as well. You can actually feel like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> And you so can cool. use it for anything. Yeah. It's so it's so versatile. You can use it to, um, as we say, your food, your water. You can use it for like healing. You can use it for clearing yeah. your energy. You can use it for um, setting intentions, manifesting anything. It's so powerful. Fantastic. And I think being able to change the frequency of your food could be very handy. Yeah. We also use it if we go into nature yeah. as well. See if we're uh -huh. out in nature, we'll speak it to the earth to help help the earth heal and ascend as well. Um yeah. if we're in the, the ocean, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll speak it as well. <laughs> so I'm intrigued and in, in how the channeling happens because I've done a bit of reading around Lemuria, particularly. And I'm not I won't go into the story about why. But um, how do you know it is Lemurian when it's coming through? Um, for me, I, I am a galactic channel, so um, I, I just know. <laughs> it's the only way I can just say it. It's a knowing. So different people have different gifts, different clears, like their, you know, their clairvoyance or their clairsentience. Or, so I started off being very clairsentient. So I used to feel everything. I was a feeler. Um, and as I developed my gifts, um, my other senses came on, like my visions and different things. But now um, I'm totally tapped into my galactic higher self. I've integrated my higher self. So it's just, it's, it's annoying. So when it comes through, I just know. I know who it is. I know what they're saying. I know what the message is. I, I, as a channel, as an ET channel, that's what I would say I am. I just get these downloads. I get this intel. I actually call it intel because I get so much information. Yeah, don't I? It um, information. And it's what I'm here to do. I'm here to be a galactic channel. So that is why I get so much information and why it's just a telepathic communication for me. It just comes easily. Hmm. And can you control it and switch it off? When... Yeah. Uh -huh. well, I can control it like when I want to tap into it, but I've always got that knowing so, so I can meet somebody and know instantly their soul blueprint. You know, I can I can mm -hmm. scan them. I can see their their soul bl blueprint, what they're here to do, what what wounds they've got, all of that kind of thing. It's just a, it's just an ability that I have. So it gets quite annoying sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm like that, oh, that's such as that, this is that, and he's like that. And you just switch off for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you're literally seeing right through people. Uh, it's be, it's like being a human scanner, <laughs> like, a, like an X-ray scanner. I can actually like scan people. Um, so it's a really good Quite skill nice. to have. Yeah, absolutely it is. So, and do you work in groups or is it just all one to one? We do one to ones and we do one to one mentorship. Um, we did. We, we have a group, a private group that we set up. That was in February last year, wasn't mm -hmm. it? That we set up for um, to help others activate and ascend and heal. And we we've been doing that for eighteen months. And in that group, we did a lot of light language meditations. We did a lot of lies. We were answering questions. We did free readings and things just to help people on their path. But we're now being guided in a different path. So we're closing that group this Friday, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, because we've done what we were to do there, we've completed that work and the people that we've activated and they're now stepping out and starting to step up. So it's time for us to move down a different path. So we've opened a new group and it's um, it's going to be more channeled. It's called Tatiana and Grashka, New Earth Galactic Guardians. Um, and Tatiana and, and Grashka are aspects of our multidimensional higher self that we are, we have integrated and they are now going to be working through us to share guidance and activations for the collective on what it means to be a New Earth Galactic Garden, where they come from, what their purpose is, um, a, a lot of galactic history, um, and bringing in the love frequency most of all, because they are beings of love. They're here to bring unity, unity consciousness, 
um to earth and that's what we're going to be doing through them so we've just opened that haven't no. we like a week ago but in the process of closing we're all grouped down in our old page and we're going to be putting a lot of effort into that sorry nobody ever made this, don't they not until you're doing something <laughs> <laughs> is it um is it on facebook the group the group's on facebook yeah so we've got a link tree um in our our bio uh, we're going to go blue start and all of our contacts yes, I saw that are there so the, the group's there and um, we just set it up a week ago we've we've shared a little bit of information on there but we're going to be doing um a live activation when we really open it up and channel Tati Anya and Grashka and um so it's taking us down a bit of a different path. A galactic path. More of a galactic path yeah. I like I like galactic. <laughs> um, <laughs> so say for example the Heal Scotland movement social enterprise is that something that I could benefit from, move it, you know, in terms of how to be the most powerful, I, I suppose, channel of, of, of a movement. Um, if, if I came to you and said, can you help me? How, what would you say? Well, we could certainly help you. So we, we would, we would tap into your higher self and um, your purpose, your soul mission, what you're here to do. Um, what gifts you've got, what activations you need. Um, that's the kind of work that we do. We have people coming to us and saying, right, I'm, I feel stuck. What am I meant to do? What's my path? What's my purpose? I know I've got a, a, a mission, but I don't know what it is. Or So, yeah, we can certainly activate people for their mission and give them all the guidance and clarity they need. We can connect them with our spiritual team, their galactic team, their galactic guides. Um, and we can activate... Um, the love frequency and others as twin flames. That's partly what, what we were here to do. We're here to share the unconditional love and the divine love, divine union frequency and code. So we do that through our work, through our sacred work together yeah. um, as twins. And also we did an in-person retreat in Chatelot Country Park in June there. That was our first in-person event and that was amazing. The vibration, that was amazing. so many powerful souls and just the activation that was happening with everybody and the vibration, it was like we were on a high, weren't yeah, we, for it was amazing. days after it, like this natural high, it was amazing. Um, so we're doing a bit of that as well because we've got a role in helping others to open their hearts and heal their hearts um, as well. But yeah, we certainly can help. I would say we could help anyone and I don't mean that in a... In a Mm -hmm. I can uh, an egotistical way, but I just feel like because we are tapped into these higher frequencies and energies and um we are such strong channels, we can channel in the guidance and the codes that you need to progress on your journey. And what does a code look like? Is it numbers or shapes? So the codes are when we speak light language because it's a frequency, quite often when we're channeling the light language, we're actually seeing codes like codes they might look like hieroglyphs or symbols or sacred geometry and they're, they're light you know they look like light and we actually see them we see them around you and we see them coming into your chakras your energy centers we, we place them in your heart and um, sometimes people see this don't yeah. they when we're doing the work sometimes they don't it just depends how open they are um but we place the codes in and then we weave them into your energy. And then what happens is you'll, you'll go on a journey where you'll start to integrate all of that work that we've done. So, yeah, it sounds a bit mad. but <laughs> Well, that's going to be my next question. What level of cynicism do you get from people around you? Like people that know you, that maybe knew you before, because that's always a thing, isn't it? People for me just think I'm even <laughs> even madder. I'm, 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 I'm at a higher level of madness. <laughs> no, I mean I've, I've actually through my spiritual awakening and through my health issues and that I've actually totally transformed my whole life. So I've not got a lot of people in my life that I did have in my life. Yeah. Um, because we've evolved I've, beyond I've been, a lot of people that were in our lives previously. To be honest, a lot of people that I had in my life weren't serving my best purpose or were maybe negative, and a lot of my problems were maybe because I was always a helper. I was always that that person that fixed everybody but couldn't fix myself. Um. So. I always gave away a lot in, in that respect. Um, but I, I just the people that have, have known me, if most people that see me now think like, wow, what a transformation. 
because I was at death's door, basically. I was like, uh, people had gave up me, I gave up myself. And so it was like, for there to hear, it's like, I'm a totally different person. I'm like, absolute night and day. And I, I mean, I was like, I, I would have been definitely diagnosed with bipolar, mental health, you name it, you name it, or ADHD, anything like that. That's the kind of, that's the kind of mindset and the level I was at. And the health issues were just unbelievable. It was just one thing after another. It was just constant, constant, constant. So, I mean, I was like half the weight I was. I was just destroyed. My body was destroyed. And I've to come. So most people would just think like the light language and that. They, they think, like, what is that? But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, they see that the difference that I've done with my life. So no, a lot of people can, they can't, they can't the, the proofs and in, in the pudding. So they can't really say anything about it. They can be sceptical and think like, wow, that's, this is crazy talk, whatever it is you're, do, you're doing with the spiritual side. But yeah. um, I don't, I don't, at this point, it's like that's, it doesn't, doesn't even affect me. Yeah, it happens mm. in stages. Mm. Um, you don't just all of a sudden become galactic or remember that you're galactic. It's been a process. So during that process, I would say that a lot of these people have fell away yeah. anyway because our vibration, our frequency has been rising. And if uh, you know what it's like, if people aren't on the same path and you're you're not in alignment anymore, you're not going to be in each other's lives. So a lot of people have fallen away. And it's actually Absolutely. surprising that some of the people that, that do like what, what we do together are people that you wouldn't have expected, mm-hmm. that you did know before. Uh, and they're like, oh, I love that. And then we realise, oh, we've actually, we're actually part of the same soul group, but you would never have uh, realised. And you realise that's why they've been in my life. Mm-hmm. So I think the ones that kind of see it as woo-woo, crazy madness have kind of fallen away. Um, and the ones that... Um, that like it are kind of still around but to be honest I've always felt like mad and different and I've never fitted in and to me this is like my homecoming this is like I know why my whole life was like that now because I wasn't here to fit in I wasn't I wasn't um I, I don't know I just didn't resonate a lot with being human if I'm honest and being in a human body and having that human mundane chat and life I just didn't resonate with me and as I awakened and started on this path it all fell into place and I'm like I feel more at home now standing and saying I speak light language and I'm an ET (laughs) than I ever did as a human being so (laughs) that that might seem crazy to people but it's going to get more common to be honest you're going to hear more people coming out and speaking like this so 100% 100% and you need to you, I suppose you need to be at that level of inner knowing to not really it doesn't matter what people think because you know and yeah. that's because I get that a lot as well so it's and again I live in quite a small community and it always amazes me when I'm out some people will come to me and say I love what you're doing you know and keep going keep going people that I wouldn't expect Um, so that's really nice because you never know because most people they're not going to say you know they're <laughs> not going to speak out against the common narrative yeah, you know, for many reasons, and um, but that's okay. That's what's I suppose one of the nice things about the internet. You can just quietly go about and learn and self direct your learning and realize that not everybody's on the same path. No. Yeah. So and that's there's so much that we just do not know that, yeah. um, and that's okay. So that's fantastic. Well, listen, I'm really, really intrigued, and definitely want to try all of it. <laughs> um, are you based in Glasgow? Because obviously for the actual um, Wolf non-surgical, you need to be there in person, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Where we're, I, we're so where are you? We're in Hamilton, just, just outside of Glasgow. So the um, all of our Indigo Blue Star is online. So uh-huh. it works across time and space because you're working with quantum energy. So um, all of our one-to-one sessions are online. We also do distant sessions where we do distant healing as well. Um, and then we do our in-person uh, retreat. So we've got a retreat coming up in October. That'll be our, our next one. Um, but the Wolf Non-Surgical is, Gary's actually doing that at the moment because I'm I'm focusing more on the spiritual kind of work. So yeah. we're both trained in it, um, but Gary's kind of stepped out with that. So... We done the whole life coaches as well. We done the whole life coach course and the wolf and surgical at the same time. Um, but I will. You're doing that from home. That is, we're just doing it for home. Or Gary, or, or, or I can travel, but obviously it would be a, a bit of this travel costs would, would be on top of that. But uh-huh. um, that is that is no problem to travel. That's the thing. Um, I don't know how far up we. How whereabouts exactly are you? 
Uh, I'm in Argyll, but the healing centre I live at is um, about probably two hours 15 from Glasgow. Because no, we're actually going to Tarbert yeah, um, in October for four days. Oh, yeah. come and visit I, think, um, I don't know uh, if you'll know, but we get married at Career Weddings. At, oh, did you? Uh, oh, it's beautiful yeah. there. <laughs> so oh, we got married there, and the, the lady that married us, Barbara, she knows you, Barbara Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I was she talking actually, to her actually. Yeah, she actually said to us about, about Heal Scotland. Diane had already knew about Heal Scotland. Yeah, I've been following says, like, for a while. Like, you should contact yeah. yourself um, about because but this is before we went and done the. The, the course. Yeah, so we get married. Uh, no, it was after the was course. It? Yeah, but it was, it was before the course that she was chatting to us. Say you know, uh, uh, is it Lily? I would love this. She loves yeah. new things, and she she would love to hear about all of this. And I'm like, it's, it's funny how everything worked with us. And it was yeah, funny well, how we, we found her as well. Uh, we have a few retreats and things going on in October, but let me know when you're coming, and then you need to come up and see the farm anyway. It's a beautiful. Uh, way. I love that. Yeah, for sure, that would be great. So we'll put your details, obviously, um, for people that want to contact you. Um, and it'd be really interesting, I think, for us to work together in, in terms of Heal Scotland and see, make sure that I can be as, I mean, I know that to be the cleanest, clearest, you know, healed version to, you know, to really help people at this time. And to get this kind of information, whether you're cynical or not, I mean, in two years' time, in two months' time, in two weeks' time, suddenly things can change. And I think that's, mm. the, the, as Joe Dispenza says, get very comfortable with the unknown. So yeah. even if this makes no sense to you, if you don't, <laughs> you're, kind of, you're not obsessed by quantum physics like me, then, you know, you it, it doesn't make sense because we can't see anything outside this kind of illusion of separation. Yeah. And once you go into that entanglement, it just becomes a much more exciting place to live. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. That's phenomenal you. work that you're doing. And um, I really look forward to meeting you in person. Hopefully that can be in October. Yeah. And um, we'll put all your stuff up and people want to get in touch. What's the best way? Is it through your socials or no. email? We can do uh, yeah, just do social media. Just now we're actually working on our website and um, our we're getting a new email set up. So at the moment it's it's Facebook. So just the link tree. Um, every, yes. all of our details are on there. Gary's got a separate page for the Scotland's Wolf Non Surgical. It's yeah. Scotland. It's Wolf with an E. Um, it's just and you can just WhatsApp me or email me or contact me through that. And my, my phone numbers on it as well. Um, you can just call me direct if anybody wants any information or wants to know more or wants to book a session. And we're actually doing a deal just now with twenty five percent off till the end of the month. Um, so much is a session? Seventy five pounds for a session. And it's hundred. It's a hundred years old. It's seventy five pounds. Just now. Uh -huh. um, but it's it's between an hour and an hour and a half, and I guarantee that you will notice it. You will see the difference within one session. That's the thing. Um, I guarantee that. Yeah. That's how powerful it is. That's how powerful it is. It's, it's, I mean, I've worked on people that said injuries for 19 years and like they're like, wow, totally. Yeah, it's an amazing. Totally. Um, and something you said actually when you were talking about the physical body and how important it is that we, we get into the tissues, that's something that really that, that's what, we realised yeah. during the course because we'd been on this spiritual journey, awakening journey, and we'd been doing so much emotional healing yeah. and um, spiritual healing. And when we got to Mexico, um, and actually started, you know, practicing the deep tissue work. The amount of release emotions, and emotions yes. coming out, and I was like, I don't understand this. Like, why have I got all this in my tissues when I've been doing all this work? And the mm -hmm. way I explained it was that you know, if you don't process it properly at the time, it stores in your tissues and it becomes disease and things like that. So this is all your stored stuff from your emotions for your past, your past and everything. So emotional becomes a physical. It's so important as you see combine. The, the physical, the, the emotional. Yeah, um, and the spiritual as well. That's what we do. We basically combine all of that together. So it's, yeah. it's all working together. And, mm -hmm. and also the nutraceuticals, which is like the fulvic acid and, and just the, all these kind of Purification things. Purification of it. Just, just cleansing out the body. That's that's the whole thing, taking out the... I know, it's getting out the old information and allowing the new information to... Uh, that's exactly it. That's it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. Well done. Well, it's lovely to meet and chat to yeah, you guys. Thanks and, for <laughs> and I'll hope to see you in person soon. Yes, definitely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Have a nice Bye. day. Bye. 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 Bye.